Ontario knows you as somebody different, but now the Lord, hallelujah, has transformed you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Hebrews 
4.1, and it reads, um, Let us therefore fear, let us therefore fear least a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Somebody wants to read that. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody want to read that in Spanish? Hello? No lo quieren leer? En español, por favor. Hebreos 4.1, 4.1. Yeah. Dice, Temamos, pues, no seas que permaneciendo aún la promesa de entrar en su reposo, alguno de vosotros pere perezca no haberlo alcanzado. Gloria a Dios. Amén. Ahora quiero decir un poco de mí. Uh, uh, cuando me salvó Dios, uh, uh, no, uh, God didn't save me like people in church are saved today. People in church, when someone tells you que están salvos, pregúntales, how do you know you're saved? Ask, you're supposed to test everything. The Bible says, test all spirits. Y cuando la gente dice, oh, yo estoy salvo, pregúntales, ¿cómo sabes que estás salvo? Oh, pues, uh, yo siento paz en mi corazón. I, I, I feel peace in my heart. That's why you can be a pacifist. That doesn't mean you're saved, not biblically. Hermanos, uh, um, it's, it's easy to be a Christian. Everyone's a Christian today. Even Mormons are Christians. Catholics are Christians. People who give to the poor, well, I'm a Christian. You can find Christians anywhere. But you won't get, you're not going to find a biblical Christian. That's a whole other Christianity. Amen. A biblical Christian, they're going to preach repentance. They're going to preach, they're going to preach uh, 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 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 6, 9. They'll tell you the list of people not going to go to heaven. But the Christians today, the, 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 the culture today is everyone's going to make it. Just be a good person, you're going to make it. And that's a lie from hell. That's in the Bible. And th th there's, there's list after list who's going to make it, who's not. And as I read to you in, in 1 Peter, it, it, we're barely going to make it. Barely. And I don't know about you, but when I read the Bible, I, I study it. I know my soul depends upon it. And uh, it, 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 it convicts me. Me pongo llorar. Me pongo llorar porque it, it, it digs me. It cuts me what I used to be. Me da vergüenza conocer gente que me conocía. Me da una vergüenza que los miren. Aunque, aunque Dios me salvó, pero tengo una vergüenza. Gloria a Dios. Gloria, tengo vergüenza. Porque la gente hoy en día no tiene vergüenza. En estos días es una vergüenza tener vergüenza. Ay, uh, cuando vas a las, a, a las tiendas o you go to, uh, wherever you go, miras, uh, you see the homosexual brain. Está bien bravo. You see the gangster, brave. You know what he is, the way he's dressed. Pero mira ese cristiano bien calladito, no quiere decir nada. Dios, he died for us in public, and we want to serve him in private. Sin vergüenza. No tenemos vergüenza, hermano. No tenemos vergüenza. Y si uno lea las escrituras, lo que pasó con Cristo, y no tenía que pasar por eso, es Dios. Cristo es Dios. Anyway, what I want to say is, uh, um, I was, uh, when I was little, I was always incarcerated. I, I pretty much did whatever I wanted. I went and came as I wanted. Um, I've been incarcerated in four different states. And um, se me so fast, I've been incarcerated so many times que uh, ya estaba acostumbrado. Uh, es cuando estaba libre que no estaba acostumbrado. Cuando estaba libre, when I was free, I was just waiting for something to happen to me because I knew I was going to go back. So when I would come out, I would do as much as I wanted. I would drink what I wanted, eat what I wanted because I knew I was going to go back. Who knows when because of the way I was. And I lived like that all my life. Um, I haven't been out for more than a year since I was 11 or 12. I'm not sure what my ages were, but I never really lasted more than a year. And, uh, and when I got to prison or my juvenile, I, 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 I just got into a routine. Yes, I, mean, I, I already know all the above. And I, that was my comfort zone. And um, y cuando yo estaba morro, uh, chiquito, um, I started doing bigger things. I started uh, just doing things that, that deserve prison time as an adult when I was just a boy. So I, they started sending me further away from my mom and dad. They started sending me to bigger cities. And uh, I, I learned a different kind of hate. Perdí otro tipo de odio. Racista. Yo nunca conocía esas palabras que nos dicen los mexicanos. Yo no conocía ese tipo de odio. Yo no más conocía bad words. I didn't know bad words, you know, but I didn't know racism. I didn't know what they called us. I didn't, that, that was a whole other uh, hate that was in me. And, uh, and I was alone. There was a lot of other races, but there wasn't many of us. 
And so uh, I learned to hate them. I became like them. They made me like them. I hated them. I hated them. I hated anyone that didn't walk or talk like me. It was just another hatred that I didn't know. And, uh, and when, I, when I would come home, I brought that hate with me. And when I'd get incarcerated in different states, I brought that hate with me. And uh, I, would, uh, I would impose it on others. I would impose my hate on others. If I didn't get soft eyes, uh, I, 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 I was just a horrible person. And by the grace and the mercy of God, I'm here today. Amen. Uh, I would have never thought that I'd be speaking in front of people, uh, not like this. I, uh, I spoke in front of lots of people in prison, and I incited riots in Texas. I, 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 um, I just never thought I'd be doing this. And uh, when God came into my life, uh, I wasn't looking. I was getting high. Um, my wife would work all day, and I would just do whatever I wanted all day. She'd come home, I'd go outside, and that was my life. And... Um, God has something in store for us. Uh, Man. Again, I was full of hate. Uh, I was full of pain. And uh, I used to get so high, I used to go somewhere and cry in a corner or somewhere. But God heard me. But when I would leave that closet, I couldn't show my weaknesses. Because people, in my mind, people were always trying to get me. People were trying to, that's Eddie. I, was, I always felt like I was a target. And uh, when you have a name, whether it's infamous or famous, people are always uh, trying to get to that name. And so uh, I always I always thought to attack first. Even if the guy wasn't going to attack me, in my mind, I need to go first. And so uh, I, I paid a lot for that. I, I, uh, wherever there's anger is its own punishment. When someone's full of anger, that's its own punishment. Amen. And so I punished myself a lot, but um, our house burned down. And, uh, and it was by the grace of God it burned down. It got me out of my comfort zone because you can't grow when you're complacent. You can't go when you're comfortable. Uh, but it can go up. People, I'm sure everybody has their seats when they sit in church. They always sit there. That's, that's where they sit. Yeah. And you're not going to grow that way because you, it, serving God becomes a routine. And a, there's no heart in it no more. This is where I sit. Oh, yes, when I go, this is where I praise my God. Okay, this is where we get the offense. It's rutina. It's rutina. It's rutina. And rutina, uh, it makes you numb. It makes you numb. Oh, it's, it's time to raise our hands. And, uh, and, and there's no urgency in the churches no more. There's no urgency. Yet, who's saved here? And how do you know you're saved? Do you know the scriptures? If you ask any Christian, you ask them, are you reborn? They'll say, yeah, how do you know you're born again? Oh, well, I accepted God. You accepted God. Who are you to accept God? ¿Quién eres tú para aceptar Dios? ¿Quién eres? No sabemos nadie. No sabemos nadie. Pero esa es la cultura hoy. La cultura es, oh, accept God as your Savior, you're saved. That's a lie. Because I've read this Bible, and I studied it. And it doesn't say that in any of the scriptures. In fact, it says God accepts us. The Bible says accept one another as Christ has accepted you. Who are we to accept God Almighty? But you know what we do? We do what the Christians do. We do what the pastor says. We do what they tell us to do. And we just repeat that. Like uh, the, I heard in the church not too long ago, I preached this not too long ago about, um, and it kind of got under my skin. But he, he had, it was uh, a visiting preacher, and he had preached uh, God loves the sinner but hates the sin. How many times have we heard that in the church? But yet, it's not scriptural. It's not scriptural. In fact, the Bible says how God hates all workers of iniquity. God hates the wicked. God hates the fraud. God hates the pride, the proudful. They don't preach that. And so when we leave, we leave proud. Oh, I'm, a, I'm an apostolic. Yo soy apostolico. Oh, yo soy pentecostal. Everybody has pride in them. That's my church building. That's my church building. And they're full of pride. Biblically speaking, God hates you. Biblically speaking. But culture-wise, Christian culture will tell you, you're good. This is your church. You're doing good. You're doing a fine job, buddy. That should be open your pride when you'll get married when the time is right. That's a lie. No fornicator will inherit the kingdom of God. And neither will a liar. So if you're going to church and they're not, and, and it's not, the, the Bible should convict you because we're bad. All of us are bad. There's none good. No, not one Bible say. So if this is not cutting you, if this, if the Bible's not convicting you, not offending you, and some that they're not preaching the Bible, they're, they're, they're preaching half truth, and half truth is a whole lie. Um, like I said, uh, I, I, I'm sorry I, I get off track. Um, our house burned down, and uh, and we were homeless uh, for like two months. Me and my wife and my four children, and um, it was it was a good thing that we were taken out of our comfort zone because I would have never moved from there. Um, I would stay, I'd still be there, or probably dead by now, or missing teeth and toes. Um, 
But God is God is very merciful, is rich in mercy. We Amen. lived in motels and motels, and finally uh, God gave us a house, and I started going to this church, um, and it, it was exactly what I needed at the time. Um, they preached the truth, they preached the whole counsel of God, and I learned a lot. And um, but I started reading for myself. Philippians 2.12, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your own salvation. No one can save you. No one can pray you out of hell. There's no purgatory. Hey, it's in the Bible in the Old Testament and the New Testament. There is no excuses on judgment. None. Amen. If I'm a liar and I'm lying to you and you believe it and you go to hell, hey, that is upon yourself. You, you, you should have worked out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. And so I started reading the scriptures for myself and uh, God put a fire in me. Uh, I, I don't think I was meant to just sit down and just listen. Uh, I knew a lot of people were going to hell because I was walking amongst those folks. Um, all we would do is, is think about um, uh, just evil. I, I, I was very evil. Well, we, we are all evil. Whoever says he's not evil is a liar. But once you've been once you've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and you have received the gift of the Holy Ghost, you've spoken in tongues, God has cleaned you, and I say this with experience. Uh, God took all my anger from me. Now I love people. I hug everybody. Uh, sometimes I have to stop myself because sometimes it's, it's inappropriate it's just to go around hugging people. Uh, but biblically speaking, we're supposed to be kissing everybody, right? The Bible says greet one another with a holy kiss. So uh, I, I, I just, God, he took all my hate from me and I had hate deep, deep, deep in me. Uh, like I said, when I was little, I, 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 uh, I, I knew hate but I was too far from my family, and I had learned another different hate, and that hate took root in me. And when I just, it was just an awful thing, and I didn't think it ever go away. And so, uh, uh, anyways, God gave us a house went to this church, and I started, I did everything the Bible says, not what the preacher said. I did everything the, the Bible says, Acts 2.38, I obeyed it, and I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. My wife did, my, my teenage children did, and uh, everything was clean from me. Um, uh, people always think that they have to do this on their own, but it's impossible. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to do this on your own. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a difference between stopping drugs or smoking and being delivered from smoking and drugs. There's a difference. You can stop on your own accord. Yeah. But, but when the right uh, uh, storm, when the perfect storm comes along, your wife leaves, your dad dies, you'll go back to your vomit because that's, that's how you relieve yourself. Amen. But when God delivers you, all glory be to Jesus. Yeah. You can listen yeah. the Bible says, when the Son sets you free, indeed you free, you'll, you'll be free. And I'm free. Glory to God. I'm free from hatred. I'm, I'm free from all these things because of Jesus. Amen. But I, I understand that the enemy of my soul ever lurking. He's ever lurking. But I don't fear him. Amen. I don't fear the Corona 17, 18, 19. I don't fear anything. If anyone fears, they don't know God because the Bible from, the, from Genesis to uh, Revelation the Bible tells you not to fear. Don't fear. Don't fear. Don't fear. The only fear you should have is Christ. And that's the only fear you should have. If you fear anything going on out there, then you don't know you need to get back into Scripture. You need to focus on Jesus because if the devil can't make you bad, he'll make you busy. He'll distract you. Like what's going on in the news, he'll distract you. What's going on with your children? And uh, we, we fail to cast our, 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 uh, our cares upon God. We want to do it ourselves. Um, a lot of times, uh, for example, in um, Proverbs 19.3, it says, we do things our way, and then we blame God. Yeah. Que cierto. Amen. We do things our way. We marry her because we want to marry her. We marry him because uh, it, 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 it's, it's convenient. Whatever the case, never things go sour, de chama la culpa Dios. Amen. We get a job on our own accord. We, we choose this church because we chose. We do things always on our own accord, and then we blame God. We don't blame the enemy of our soul. We blame God. And so, uh, anyways, so uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I'm very uh, grateful. For, I'm very really grateful for Jesus. Can, he allowed me to come up here, and I'm Amen. grateful to your pastor. He invited me to come here. Uh, I've been wanting to come here. Um, I just want to awaken you. Amen. I want to awaken you. If um, I don't want you, I don't want you to leave the way you came in. May, right. may, may God put emergency in your spirit. May God put an urgency Amen. in your heart. Busca Dios, despiertan, despierten, hermano, despierten. Y si hay que sienten ustedes all the time, next week, sit over here. No, para que, pa que reciban, hermano, para que reciban. ¿Qué te cuesta que vengas, que vengas, te sientes 
uh, a coward does show up in me, I'm like, hey, me van a gritar. Because there's some people, and it's the ones que están bien vestidos que gritan, bro, or, or, you know, whatever it is. That, you know, this is, I don't know why they do but for the most part, I share the gospel with everybody. Uh, I only fear, I only fear, uh, I only fear Jesus, and I fear what he's going to do to me if I don't share the gospel with you because you're, because you're a homosexual, and, and, and today, you can't even say that word today, but I, they got so many transgender. I don't try to keep up with that. I, I try to uh, just stay scriptural, and if I offend someone, it just I just know it's going to happen. Whether I'm good or not, you're going to offend people. Pero nomás no quiero ofender a Dios. I'd rather offend you, offend you, but I don't want to offend God. Uh, a, a lot of times you only have a window of opportunity to reach out to somebody. You may have to stand in line with them, whatever. And you just have a little ventanita. Man, dile, hey, aliviane te aviene Dios. Que no te pesque Dios asina. Don't let God catch you that way. Don't let God catch you vestido asina. Mucha gente dice, no andes juzgando, baby. But God loves righteous judgment. It's in the Bible in the front and the back, all the way from, from Genesis to, uh, to Revelation. God loves righteous judgment. How do you get to work if you don't judge? What are you going to wear? How, are you going to take a left or you have to? It's judgment, moment by moment. Am I going to reach out to this person? What am I going to wear? Am I going to go to work today? You, it's judgment, but today, Christianity and the world don't judge. They don't want you that. They, they, uh, they'll, they'll stop you. Anytime you show the scripture, don't judge. Who are you? But if we, who, are, who have been enlightened, don't share the gospel with the lost, who's going to share the gospel with them? Who? Nobody. We need to share the gospel. Uh, also, another thing is when you ask these folks, when they tell you not to judge, um, if you have patience, I, I'm not a man of patience, but I try very hard to have patience. Amen. I'll ask them, what else does the world say? Don't judge. Keep going. What else? They don't know. Everyone knows that. Even Muslims know that part. Don't judge. If they read the whole counsel of God, it tells you God loves righteous judgment. Love, but you, you, you have to judge. You have to, the, 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 what, what you have out here is the fruit of what you have inside you. Case in point, if, you're, if, you, love, if you love the Raiders, well, you're going to wear Raiders jersey. That's the fruit of what's in your heart. Um, so if you see someone and, and just don't uh, fear God. Don't, don't, don't fear what people are going to say to you. Because then you're just like them. Today the Christian can't say nothing. We can't say a word. We can't even look that way. There's two people that already got together. We can't even look that way because they grit that get us as juzgando. Tu quien eres? Pero hermano, yo no les tengo miedo a nadie, hermano. A nadie, hermano. No te pesque, hey, no te pesque, Dios así. Que no te pesque. Y aunque se ofenda, they'll go home and they'll remember what I told them. They'll remember when they see God, they can't say, hey, no one told me. Nobody approached me. I was born this way. No, no, no. My, my son, A, he was going to Walmart, and he warned you. Now, depart from me. I never knew you. We have to, we have to be bold. And when I say bold, I mean bold in Jesus' name. I don't mean arrogant in any which way or form. Amen. When people ask me, what, what are you? What are you? Because I talk to lots of people. Uh, I don't tell them I'm any denomination. I don't tell them anything of anything. I just believe in Jesus Christ and Him Amen. crucified, Him risen. I preach the word of God. Yeah. I don't want to, today, everything is, every, the devil's a liar, he's very subtle. He'll, he'll make you take pride in, in, in your denomination. He'll make you take pride in it. Y tú, creyendo, pues, es de Dios, y yo estoy orgulloso, yo sé. And, uh, estás engañado, hermano. Estás engañado, hermano. I only profess Jesus Christ, y ya, y ya. Y si el mundo lo hace, no lo hagas. And, and, and it's up to you. It's your eternity for you to see la verdad. It's a mundo lo hace, no lo hagas. The Bible says, be separate, say the Lord. Amen. If, uh, if we all got up, if we all stood together, if we're all standing in line at Walmart, without saying a word, how would anyone know any of you are a Christian? How? How? We look and walk and talk just like them. How are you separate? Are you, are you sharing the word with people? No. But if I'm in Walmart, if we don't do that, that's what the church is. But the Bible says, be ready to see it and I'll see it. So if, if we're all stood together, there'd be no difference. We'd be just like them. We walk and talk just like them. I make sure that I'm separate, especially because I'm all being down. So I make sure that I wear my Jesus shirt. I wear that my car says Jesus. My house says everything has Jesus. I profess Jesus all the time. I wake up and I'm thinking about him. 
I wake up and I'm feeling bad about I need to reach out to such and such. I wake up and I'm like, how can I please you today? At the end of your day, pregunta, ask yourself, what did I do for Jesus today? Ask yourself at the end of every day, ¿qué hice yo por Dios? No hice nada, that day estaba lastado. Porque tú no estás dormido. When I went to church, what does that mean? Otra cosa, uh, uh, since you've been saved, those who, who are saved, since you've been saved, what difference has your salvation made in anybody's life? Amen. If you were to die today, can anyone remember you like, man, that person, he got me to church, that person, God gave me a Bible. Can, can, did you make a difference in anybody's life? Yes, Jesus. Because if you didn't, ¿qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? If God has enlightened you, and, 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 and God has showed mercy on you and chose you, because we're chosen before the foundations of the earth. We've been chosen. We've been chosen. Nothing's by accident. Ustedes están aquí, not by accident. Un día van a dar cuentas. Un día van a dar cuentas. ¿Por qué no pasado? You sat in church. Somebody preached the word to you. You lifted your hands up and worshiped me. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Why do I find iniquity in your heart? The Bible says that God will not hear me if there's iniquity in my heart. Believe that. So, if si you estás orando and nothing's happening, search the scriptures. Busca Dios aquí. Don't, don't look in religion. Religion can't save you. Denominations can't save you. Nothing can save you. The Bible says uh, God does not hear sinners. He hears worshipers. Amen. That's in John. Amen. And in and, uh, and Psalms it says, if I, if I regard iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. The Bible also says, um, here, I'll read them out to you because I, I, I don't want to mess up. Amen. The word of God is precious. I don't want one word to fall to the ground. So the, the word says in Proverbs 28, 9, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be a foundation. Fíjate, hombres en bien con Dios. Ahí está. ¿Por qué Dios no me oye? Pues ponte bien con Dios. Ponte bien con Dios. Unos... Queremos a salvar nuestros hijos o nuestros padres o nuestros amigos, pero también estamos nosotros en iniquity. Yeah. We have to be right with God. If God wants to hear your, your prayer. Aquí right. estamos Psalm 66, 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. He's not going to hear you. Those are not my words. Again, in John 9, 31. Now we know that God hears is not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. ¿Quieres que tú oigas a Dios? Entonces, bien con Dios. Pero así no estamos. Pero Dios no me oye. Yo me voy para acá. Dios no me oye. Voy a tomar una cerveza. Hey, we're always looking for a reason to blame God for our own mess. Always. Proverbs 19.3. Siempre estamos buscando una manera to go back to, to our vomit. ¿Para qué cosita? Ah, ya me voy. No sabemos cómo sufrir, hermano. No sabemos cómo sufrir nada. En las iglesias te dicen cómo how to come, how to do this, how to reach this. They tell you these things, but they fail to tell you cómo sufrir. No te dicen, hey, tenemos que aprender a sufrir. Cristo sufrió. All the apostles sufrieron. Every, y nosotros no queremos ni, 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 ni que nos ofendan. Ahora, ahora, ahora queremos que pase tu hijo o you break your car. No, ya me voy a decir, y le echamos la culpa a Dios, y ya te vas para el infierno, because God don't need us, we need God. But today's culture is you accept God. Accept God, he'll save you. Accept God, he does not, that's a lie. God has to accept us. Uh, for example, God didn't accept uh, Cain's sacrifice. He accepted Abel's sacrifice, but not Cain. Now, fast forward to the New Testament. This is our new sacrifice. It's a living sacrifice. We bring it on to God, hoping that he will accept it. But if you're if you're defiling the temple of God, that's the mando, that's you're watching what is whatever it is that you watch that defiles the temple, and you bring it to the altar. Is God going to accept that sacrifice? Think about that. These are the things that are not preached because it's too hard for Christians today. Tienes que echarle azúcar. You 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 have to you have to wrap it up in in, in candy, dáselos y como si fueran babies. Dice la Biblia, I think it was Paul saying about milk. I'm still giving you milk. You should be. You should already be. King James Version, you should already be eating meat. No, no, no. Está muy duro. Está muy duro esto. Hermano, aunque esté muy duro o no, es la palabra de Dios, hermano. ¿Cómo le vas a cortar la palabra de Dios? ¿Cómo le vas a echar azúcar? Dios never said that. He didn't kill all the apostles because they preached the word of God. Nobody wants to 
kill the preacher today because he's your best friend. Oh, that you're okay. Must have been a little man. Yeah, that's that's bien. Okay, but look, that's 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 how that bien. Just keep coming. I'm looking at you. God's gonna work on you. He ain't that condenado. That condenado is a pastor. That condenado, man. A friend of mine came over the other day, uh, and he was talking about going to this church here locally, and I just told him, don't waste your time. Because you can go with your girlfriend, sit, and no one's going to say nothing to you. What are you going to go over there for? If, if, if you're not being convicted of the, of the word of God, what are you going to go for? Just to warm up the seat. They need to preach the whole counsel of God, hermanos. Hermanos, no se vayan en sus cadenas, hermanos. No se vayan en cadenas, hermanos. Don't, don't let the, today's Christianity que, que te duerma. Hey, despierta tú que duermes. Y levanta de los muertos y te comprará Cristo. Ephesians 5.16, despierta, hermanos. Uh, thank you again for allowing me to come up here, yeah. hermanos. Uh, I hope that I've made a difference in somebody when they leave today. S seek God in truth. Don't seek a denomination. Don't seek such and such. Don't go to a church uh, because my family goes there. Uh, th my family has a church over here in Idaho somewhere. And uh, everybody goes to that church. That's my family. Everybody. If you're, if you're of my blood, and you live in that area, everybody goes to that church. And that church is lost. That church, biblically speaking, that church is lost. Everything they, they, what they do is not biblical. But if you're if you're of my family, you go and you have a seat there. Uh, forbid you go anywhere else. But I'm not seeking my family. I, I'm seeking Jesus. I'm seeking salvation. I, I, I want to come home. I want to I wanna fly away. One of these days, I want to fly away with Jesus. Yo me voy a ir, hermanos. Yo aquí no me quedo, hermanos. Wake up, hermanos, wake up. Uh, I'm going to go because, hombre, thank you for having me. Yeah.